been a fun day. But it's time to go home now. Yes, it's late. Time for bed. <sighs> so they all went to bed, including the goose, who nestled into her nice new nest. <laughs> The next morning, the farmer and his wife woke. <laughs> Excited to see if the goose had laid any eggs. Oh, well, they were quite surprised at what they found. Oh my goodness! Said the farmer. Our goose has laid seven golden eggs! Oh, sure enough, the goose had laid one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven glistening golden eggs. We're rich, we're rich. These golden eggs will give us more money than we'll ever need. Yes, but we'll grow even richer because the goose will lay seven more golden eggs each day. We're rich, we're rich, we're rich. Hi, neighbors. We brought some milk from our cow to share with you. Did the goose lay any eggs? Yes, she laid seven. Golden eggs! Yes, but we can't share any with you. I mean, after all, they're gold! Well, so the neighbors left very disappointed. The farmer and his wife ran to town, <laughs> excited to tell everybody how rich they were. But the goose was disappointed that they wanted to keep all the eggs for themselves. So, the goose left to find someone else who would be happy to share her golden eggs with others. When the farmer and his wife returned from town, they were in for a surprise. The goose! She's gone! And she took all her golden eggs with her! Now we don't have any. I think we should have given some of the eggs to our neighbors. Yes, you're right. We were too selfish. So the farmer and his wife learned an important lesson. Sharing with others is the right thing to do. The end. Oh, that was a good story. Just think, a goose had laid seven golden eggs. Oh, oh, speaking of seven, look what I found when I turned to the last page of the book. It's one of Stella's missing numbers. The seven. I wonder how many numbers Stella's found by now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Pretty numbers. I'm making numbers. Pretty numbers. Number one. <laughs> I have one ribbon in my hair. 